All right, so let's get started with putting Fermata on an Arduino Uno compatible board. In this case, the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. So I'm going to fire up the Arduino IDE. I'm going to go to Files and Examples, down to Fermata. And I'm going to choose the standard Fermata program. I'm going to check my COM port. It's COM4. I'm going to make sure it's an Arduino Uno setting. And I'm going to compile and download to the board. So my computer's a little slow, it'll take a little while. It's gonna compile, and then it will flash the board. And you'll actually see the RX and TX LEDs light up as that's happening. So we'll see that it's flashing onto the board, and then the firmware will be on the Arduino Uno, ready to receive commands over USB from a Java program. All right, we're all done there. Now let's move over to the IntelliJ IDE. So I'm going to start a new project in IntelliJ, a new Java project. Actually, I'm going to end up copying it in from a, an existing project that I already had. So again, my computer computer's a little slow, so it takes a little while to get fired up. But here we go. All right. So the idea is going to be to take that file, that Java file, and paste it into the source folder of my project. Okay, so it's going to go there. So I got to switch over to the Windows Explorer. I'm going to go grab that Java file. And there we are. So right click and copy. And I'm going to right click on that source folder in IntelliJ and paste. All right. So now we're going to have a project that's got a Java source code file in it. And now I'm going to have to import a couple of libraries. JSSC, Fermata for J, and SLF for J as well. So we're going to go into Maven. And I'm going to type in the name of these three libraries. So we're going to start with uh, the Java uh, Simple Serial Connector, JSSC. I'm going to make sure it's the right version. I'm go look for it in Maven. Yeah, I typed that in wrong. Let's try this again. Let's do a little search there. There we go. That's the one I want. All right, next up, after I've set apply and OK, we're going to add another one. All right, so now we're going to bring in Fermata for J. This is from Kerbatov on GitHub. It'll be version uh, 2.3.8, I believe. I want to get. There we are. All right, so that's applied. And now I have to re import the um, serial logger SLF4J. So we're going to do that as well. All right, now I'm going to try this specific version because I know it works. It's an older version, but I, I've tested it and it works pretty well. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing in the program. This is just an illustration of the thread sleeping that we're going to do in the turning on the LEDs. And um, so I can, I can compile this and it should work. but I really have to make sure that I get the wrong, right COM port because right now it's the wrong COM port. So how do I do that? I fire up the Arduino IDE again, and I make sure that it is um, either COM3 or COM4, whatever, whatever is actually connected, and I got to check it. Now, I know that I've already checked it before when I did the downloading of the firmware, but let's verify for sure. Is it COM3 or COM4? So I go into Tools, and then I go into port. Yeah, there's, I see COM3, COM4. Now I'm going to disconnect my USB. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to go to tools and port. 
And I'm going to verify that COM4 disappeared. Yep, it disappeared. Okay, so let's verify one more time. We're going to plug it back in. Going to make sure that COM4 reappears. Yep, it is COM4. Excellent. Okay, so we write COM4 in here. And we should be ready to compile and go and check this out. Okay, just about ready to go. Let's check to see what happens when we run this thing. So we're going to click on that triangle right there, that green triangle, and uh, let's see if we can see some flashy lights as the TXRX goes on. And then the in the upper left corner, we should see that D4 LED flashing. Excellent. And we can see on the screen on the console that it's going to shut down at the end of the program after it's done enough flashing. And there we go. The program works.